welcome to DogBeautyTreats.com. My name is Lori Pacciano, and today we're going to teach you how to groom your dogs with food. This is Texas, and we've invited Sadie Whip, expert in health and vitality, to teach you how to make banana cream conditioner. Okay, one of the things that I love about this conditioner is it's extremely moisturizing. What a lot of people don't realize is that bananas are actually really good for your skin. And one of the things that's so brilliant about this conditioner is we're going to actually use the banana with the peel. So the banana is very moisturizing for the dog, but the peel actually has agents in it that are really good for insect bites. So if your dog has mosquito bites or flea bites or anything like that, um, you can actually keep the peel. And if you've got the Vitamix, which we highly recommend, because it will actually break this peel down. And see the big chunks I'm putting in? We don't have to worry about it because the Vitamix can handle it. So, um, and one of the cool things about these, all of these recipes that I love is that if you've got older fruit that would be kind of spoiled, like the bananas might be brown or black even, and you don't want to eat them, they're perfect for the beauty product ingredients that you're using for your dog. So you don't have to waste anything. To even freeze them too, if they're starting Absolutely. to get old, like throw them in the freezer. Absolutely. Can you use them in the machine when they're frozen? If you chop them, yeah. And, okay. and bananas are, are one of the fruits that even after you freeze them, they stay pretty soft. Okay. Yeah. You know, in the summertime, sometimes we um, do cold baths too, like we'll oh, throw everything in frozen, yeah. kind of make it more. Yeah refreshing for mm -hmm. them. That's yeah. nice. Um, the next ingredient we're going to be using is a full fat yogurt. So the fat in the yogurt is very cleansing and conditioning for their coat. But one of the things that's beautiful about yogurt is it's slightly acidic and it's got a lactic acid, which for all you beauty freaks out there, you know that it actually exfoliates your skin naturally. So this is a natural exfoliant for your dog at the same time that it's moisturizing and conditioning their coats. These ingredients are just so brilliant. I love your recipes. I can't believe how many um, pieces that we were able to find in the 365 brand. They're making everything now. For... They're really, yeah, they've it's really nice. expanded. And it's so much more affordable. It's I, beautiful. I know. It's, yeah. it's really not very expensive at all. Yeah. And then we're going to be adding our honey. You'll notice that a lot of the ingredients have raw honey in them. And again, it's for the they're loaded with vitamins and minerals, um, very nutritious for their coats. And all of the live enzymes in here are really super good for them. And he loves his honey. Yes. And then we're going to add some olive oil. If you go to dogbeautytreats.com, you might see that the recipe has almond oil. You could put coconut oil. You can do an olive oil. Today we're doing an olive oil. These are really great for what you have in your kitchen. So you don't have to stress about it. It's not rocket science. Anybody can make these recipes, which is another thing that I love. And you can make the recipe larger or smaller depending on your dog. Um, a lot of recipes you have to worry about math calculations for how they scale up. These, you don't have to worry about it. You can just throw stuff in. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put our lid on. Now, one of the things that's beautiful about this is the Vitamix is it, when you use this in the winter, you want to give your dog a really good conditioning treat and make them feel nice and soothing and warm and cozy. You can run it in here for a while and the longer you run it, the more it's going to heat up the ingredients. You can actually get them nice and warm. It'll feel really good to your dog. So make sure that you're on low and go ahead and start it. When you've got chunky ingredients, you really want to let it um, break them down before you go too high or it'll splatter everywhere. You don't want to lose any of your ingredients on the sidewall of your Vitamix. So go ahead and turn it up slowly and just watch them. Do you know my favorite part of this one is how good it smells? Oh, it's It's the most delicious amazing. one I have smelled yet. It smells like pie. I, I know. So and good. your dog, like you don't have that wet, clean dog smell. You just have this really like sweet smelling yeah. pet when you're finished grooming your dog with this. And all of these natural ingredients, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the liquid from our yogurt to get this a <laughs> little more squishy. But one of the nice things about these is they're so gentle on your dog's nose. They're not really chemical strong smells. So it might smell good to us sometimes, but it can be overwhelming for your dog. And these aren't. These are great for your dog. So you're going to go ahead and blend that a little bit more. So cute. And you can actually see this. You can see the chunks going away and getting smooth. And this becomes fine enough that you can actually flush it down the tub too exactly. if you have a larger dog. Look how creamy that is. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And let's see, I don't know if he's going to like, oh, it's warm. It feels so good. This is the best part of beauty treats. The dog beauty treats, you can eat them and they love it. They and how many dogs will have bananas and he just ate some banana? I mean, smell that. That smells oh my God, so smells good. good. <laughs> All right.